I'm Nixie Pixel and you're watching OS Alt. I'll be your tour guide on our journey through the good, bad, and ugly of open source. This week, I'm diving into the wonderful world of image editors. On one hand, we have a program that has become so popular that it's basically become a verb. Yeah, she is totally shocked. Could you Photoshop my face to look smoother? On the other hand, we have GIMP, and I'm not talking bondage. GIMP stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program. Let's see how it compares to Adobe's Photoshop. Adobe Photoshop is the industry gold standard for image editing on both Windows and Mac. Other companies have tried and failed to create products that are anywhere near as good as Photoshop. As of today, there just isn't anything out there that compares. Why I like Photoshop, the current version is CS12. It's compatible with the entire Adobe Creative Suite, so I could be editing in Lightroom for the little edits and then go to Photoshop for more in-depth edits. There's so much support online, a huge, huge community, and tons of plugins. There's tools and filters up the wazoo, and uh, you, if you wanna make the metal shard faces like the little toy that I had when I was five, you can do that. Why I don't like Photoshop is that Elements costs 100 bucks and Photoshop Extended is 1,000. It's estimated that over half of Photoshop users have pirated it. Plugins that you buy don't actually carry over between versions, so you're like stuck in prior versions because you paid for the other plugins, so it's just, uh, it's mind boggling. Constant validation annoys me. Um, not that I wouldn't have legit copies of Adobe stuff, but it makes my antivirus wig out. GIMP is the open source community's answer to Photoshop. Its current version is available on the trifecta, Windows, Mac, and Linux. Its interface is outdated, but the new 2.7 preview release has a single window mode available for testing, which will be a lot cleaner and a lot more familiar to those who use Photoshop. Why I like GIMP is it has almost all the same tools and it's free and open source as Photoshop. I picked up GIMP coming from Photoshop and it was actually really easy. It's super lightweight in Linux and loads quickly. Why I don't like GIMP is the tools like the healing tool and clone aren't quite as polished as in Photoshop. There's also not as much support in GIMP, probably just because it's not as popular, and it takes a while to load in Windows. I know, why would I be using it in Windows? I give GIMP a three out of five as a replacement for Photoshop. Now keep in mind my review is based on being a non-professional. I actually love GIMP. Someone was even nice enough to GIMP me, see? That doesn't sound as good as being photoshopped. But honestly, when it comes to being a complete replacement for Photoshop, GIMP doesn't handle some aspects of editing as well, like layers and other tools that I mentioned. When GIMP becomes indistinguishable from Photoshop, then I'll stick with it, even as a prosumer. The only people who have anything to fear from free software are those whose products are worth even less. Thanks for watching OS Alt. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source. Talk nerdy to you later. Okay. Yay, why I like GIMP.